okay friends so in this video we will understand how to derive index number by using chain based method in last video we already learned deriving index number by using fixed base method where we used to take a particular year a particular fixed year as a base year in this method as the name indicates chain based method we won't have a fixed base year so what will happen a fixed year is not taken as base year so the question arises then how a base year is selected over here for every current year its preceding year becomes the base year putting it into the formula index number by chain based method is equal to value of variable of current year upon value of variable of preceding year into 100 so you can clearly make the difference between the two methods in fixed base method we used to write value of variable of fixed year in the denominator whereas in chain base it becomes value of variable of preceding year over here the base year will constantly keep on changing as the preceding year will differ for every year that's why it is known as chain base method statistically this formula can be written as index number is equal to p1 upon p0 into 100 where p1 stands for value of variable of current year and p0 stands for value of variable of preceding year so now let's try and uh, execute this formula by putting it into the example so friends now the formula of chain based index number method which we understood right now will put this formula into this example This is your question. The one in blue. They have given you prices of shares for a particular year. That is January, March, May, July, September, and November. And these are the prices. So let's put the formula in the example. The formula says chain based index number is equal to value of variable of current year upon value of variable of preceding year into hundred. P one stands for value of variable of current over year. It's month. See. Uh, the question can be in a form of year in a form of month anything so we need to modify as per the question so the value of variable of current month is represented by p1 and the value of variable of preceding month is represented by p0 into 100 now if we try and calculate the chain based index number for the month of january the value of variable of preceding month is not available right you can see that preceding is that the previous month we don't have the value so the first year's chain based index number will always be 100 okay now for the month of march the value of variable of current year it's 21.2 value of variable of preceding year that is 22 i get this 22 from here the previous year will give in 200 will give you 96.36 okay students so for for the month of may the value of chain based index number would be as we can see p1 value of current month value of current month 22 that's 22 upon value of preceding month if you have a look at value of preceding month that is the month of march this value comes over here in the denominator so value of current month 22 upon value of preceding month 21.2 into 100 will give me 103.77 now if you have a look at the month of july the value of current month for july is 23 the value of preceding month that is the value of may will become the base year so 23 upon 22 into 100 will give you 104.55 If we do it for September, the value of current month is twenty four point seven, and the value of preceding month, that is July, is twenty three. That will become the base year. In two hundred, will give you one zero seven point three nine. Finally, for the month of November, P one, that is the value of current month, is twenty six, and the value of preceding month will become your base year twenty four point seven. That will give you one zero five point. to 6 so i hope this example has solved all your concepts we can 
clearly uh, connect over here that the preceding month is the base year and it will keep on changing that is why it is known as chain based method still if you have any queries if you have any doubts you can come back to us uh, so that's it from our end thank you